In this video, I will show you how to take your Salesforce Lightning report and add report charts to it so that you can create visuals that are easy to digest and understand. Hi, my name is Farah Trania, and on this channel, we create Salesforce tutorial videos for nonprofits to get the most out of their Salesforce platform. We post weekly tutorials and tip videos, so consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button. Now let's get into the tutorial. So let's start by looking at a report that we may want to add a chart to. In this example, we have a report of all the opportunities that we have won over the past few years, including donations and grants in 2017, 2018, and 2019. In a report like this, you may want to see a bar graph of how much money came in each year or how much money came in for donations versus grants or a combination of the two. At first glance, you will notice that the Add Chart button is not available. This is because the report builder needs to know how you want the report data grouped before it can add a chart. In order to add a chart, you need to define how these rows will be segmented. So let's say I want to see how much money we brought in each year. So this means we want to group the data by fiscal year. So I will group these rows by fiscal year. Once I do this, you will see that the fiscal year grouping is added to the leftmost column, and the data is now broken out by fiscal year. And now the Add Chart button is available. So when I click on the button, it will default to the horizontal bar graph. You can change the type of graph by clicking on the Chart Properties icon and try out the different options that are available to you as a display of this report. So let's say that I look at the donut, um, I look at the column, and I decide that the column or the vertical bars is what I like the best. The other thing I can do in the um, chart properties is show values so I can see how much was earned or how much was um, won over, the, over each year. So I click the show values option, but you will notice that it is measuring the number of opportunities and not the sum amount, which is what I am looking for. So in order to do this, in order to see the amount that was raised, I need to summarize the amount information or the amount field. You can do this in two ways. You could either go to the um, outline of the report, right, or click on the amount and press the sum version, uh, the sum summarization, and hit apply, or, so let's undo that so we can see the other way to do this. You could go into the, the columns of the actual report, the detailed report, click on the down arrow next to amount, click summarize and press sum. So these are the two ways that you will be able to do this in the report itself. Now that it is available in the report, we need to add it to our chart. So I am going to go to the chart properties again and scroll down and where it says in the Y axis show the record count, I want to show the sum of amount. And like that, you will be able to see the actual amount won um, at each year. Now let's say that I want to see another level of detail on this. I want to see how much of the money each year was collected by grants versus donations. For this, we need to add another grouping, which is by record type. And we can do this in two ways. You can either group the rows again by opportunity record type. And this will give you another set of grouping where you have each year on the left and then another column of donations versus grants. Now this is fine, but it is not the most cleanest way to look at the data. Another way to look at this data is to create groupings by columns or to create a summary report. So I'm going to create a group columns by opportunity record type. And this will give us a very clean um, report that not only summarizes 
the amount won or opportunities won by the year, but also by the type um, donation versus grant. Another thing you can do here is to remove these record counts if they're not um, very useful. So I will do that by toggling the row count at the very bottom. And now you have a very clean report. So now that we have this report, I want to add um, a corresponding chart to this. So I'm going to toggle the chart and I'm going to go into my chart properties. And I'm going to, again, try out different charts available to me. And you will see that more, avail more chart types are available to you once you add different types of groupings. So I can try the bar graph again, and you will see that it is now showing me each year. And then for each year, it is showing me whether it's a donation or a grant and how much was earned at each year. So I look at the different options that are available to me and I decide that I want to use the stacked bar that is vertical. And the reason why I'm interested in the stacked column report is because I want to measure or I want to show how much we raised in total um, broken up by the two categories um, over the three years. So that is why I'm interested in this chart type. The other thing I want to do is create a reference line. So one of the things in this example we want to show is that um, we every year we have a goal to raise, let's say, $180,000. And so I want to add a reference line to show how far we have come um, to that goal each year. So I'm going to select the show reference line option and then add a reference line at $180,000. And you will see that the, um, the line gets added to the graph. You can change the color of the, uh, of the, um, of the uh, reference line by clicking this icon right here. And just like that, we are ready to see what our full report and chart will look like. So I am going to save and run this report. And now you have a visual depiction of the data that we have for the last three years for all the donations and grants that have come in. If you have any questions about the topic that we covered today, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like and share it with a colleague or a friend. We upload a new video every week, so please consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.